Happy coffee and plant time. So a few people asked me to do a tour of my house plants. Um, so I'm gonna start up here in the loft. I know I've given tours before, but I'm gonna go in a little more detail, so this might be a little bit of a longer video. So this is my cart I built. Um, basically, it's just a cart that I put drainage into as well as a drip tray. Um, I do a lot of my repotting projects here. It has all of my tools and my chemicals and fertilizers underneath it, so this works out really nice. And then right up next to that is a rack or table I built that's uh, six feet by two feet, but I have all these shoe racks on it. They work out great. Down below, I have some of my less rare philodendrons and random stuff I'll show you on the other side. Up here, though, I have my more rare plants, like my so my dragon scale alocasias. There's a monstera dubia that's just growing like crazy and I'm propagating it. Um, golden dragon. And then I have right next to each other so you can kind of see the difference. A Florida beauty and then a Florida ghost. The green and the whites. Um, my silver sword. And I'm really liking all of my little forest here of moss poles. Now the cool thing is that some of the ones I've or the older ones, like in my Pink Princess, which just popped this new leaf. Look at that. Is the moss is actually starting to turn green. So I know they look brown right now, but I'm assuming another month or so, all of my moss pole forest will be green. I'm also going to be uh, making and selling my moss poles. Um, I've been getting all kinds of supplies to make them in bulk, so I can give good pricing for them. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be posting a lot of my cuttings, which I've been producing. A lot of my high-end fancy plants have been taking cuttings off to propagate them. And so I can sell, trade, so I can afford to get more plants, and you know how that goes. Um, well, like today, I just made a smaller moss pole for my ring of fire. Just look at the variegation on this. So pretty. Um, I'm not going to go into all my plants are here, but a couple of my highlight plants are my variegated Florida Beauty that has a new leaf that's still hardening off, so we'll see what the variegation looks like, but it's got a new growth point. Uh, I have a white wizard, a white princess, a pink princess, a white wizard. Sorry, white knight. That's the white knight. Um, my tie and elbow. That's the tie, that's the elbow. And they seem to be enjoying the moss poles. They're growing out some nice aerial roots. Uh, my Jose down here just opened up this new leaf. Look at that thing. It's crazy. Um, and this plant has grown crazy fast. And he has a moss pole. Uh, Bro Marx. Um, this Monstera, which is a standard green I'm working on playing with. Um, I have these guys down here. This Gloriosa has been giving me nothing but trouble. That's what it is, right? Yeah. Um, trying to find its happy spot. Uh, anyone have any advice on this? I'd love to hear it. Drive me crazy. And then I have my ficus trees here. I have, there's four in this pot. I have my Anisonii, like pagoda thing going on here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to chop this pretty soon. Um, although I am getting some bigger leaves on it. But they're starting to get crispy, so I think this one just needs to be watered better. So I might play with the soil. My Wyetii, which is getting nice and big. Some more fun plants back there. Let's see, this is my prop tent. So this is where I do all of my propagation. And I really like the uh, moss buckets, like the moss in the pots. Um, I have everything here from Rio's to some from philodendrons. My swords are already rooting in here. I cut the other day, those are rooting. Let's see, up here, some of my project plants I'm playing with, some different things I'm trying out with um, bonsais and some other fun stuff. Down here, this is uh, euphorbia and succulents. I'm a sucker for anything that has a codex. I still have this cool paint I have plans for. Um, let's see. In my grow tent, this one is primarily 
for some of my more humid loving ones, as well as down there is uh, my Nepenthes. I have some Spanish moss in here. Some other fun stuff is down there. Um, this tent is always kept uh, warm and humid, which is nice. Um, let's see, up here I have some different uh, philodendrons and mostly philodendrons and that crazy mother of millions up there. Some anthuriums. Mostly all my rare plants are mostly here. There's a few in the grow tent. Let's see, down there I have some more anthuriums. Oh, a big dragon guy going on here. Look at this crazy thing. Where's it going? Um, yeah, some fun stuff down there. So the cool thing about these trays is like basically water water everything now. So it's super easy. I just pour water in there and the plants suck it up. Um, and then with the moss poles, I water from here and the water just goes all the way down to the roots because these go all the way down to the bottom. So everything stays watered really easily. Some more uh, philodendrons. Look at the size of this leaf. These are fuzzy petioles, fuzzy petioles rather, and then nagas. I don't know how you pronounce that word. I'm terrible. Um, some really pretty. They're not calathea, but they're like calathea. And then let's see up here. Try to tell the light, but that vine goes from there all the way over here to this crazy Mexicali, whatever it's called, the, the yam thing. I have up there, again, grow lights. So in here I have grow lights over these guys. These two big spotlight grow lights. There's grow lights over there. Oh, so here is my, don't mind the tank, it's being cleaned, <laughs> breeding pair of maroon clownfish. You can see they actually just had laid eggs recently. Right there, which is cool. Let's see, down here we have my axolotl. And in there I actually have some willow trees growing. And then down below, you can't really see him, he's hiding. In a terrarium I have a giant pixie frog. So this is my newest philodendron narrow escape. They got recently, my big hope. Let's see, uh, my terrariums are doing crazy. Look at this thing. Uh, I'm constantly trimming these things out too and trying out new plants in there. I just put a new uh, fern in there. There's all kinds of fun stuff. And some of these plants, like I didn't, I don't know what that is. I didn't plant that. That just came out of the moss that I harvested. Um, this one's got the ferns in it. Um, this one has a bunch of begonias. And that orchid right there is actually about to bloom again. Um, so that's the second or third time it's bloomed for me, which is really cool. I have my big painted lady up here, which is actually two and one. Let's see, I have some other little products I'm working on here, begonias, some other things I'm trying to do for bonsai, some playing with those. Um, let's see. Oh, I just got this today. This is a dwarf um, tree fern. This should get about, I think the thing's like four feet tall. It's really cool. And when I brought it home, actually, it was dry, so all these were like wilted, and it's popped right back up again. It's just very cool textury. And it's actually a temperate forest tree fern, so it doesn't need to be really hot or humid. So it should grow really well in the loft here. I gotta find another cool pot. Then up here I have, like these are some Rios, um, some, Monstera, some um, Malican, Pagoda, Trascantia. Along the window, I have a bunch of different begonias. That actually, this I posted the day are all cuttings that were being crazy up there. Cebu's over here. Um, some Calathea Network. Uh, some of my Hoyas are here. I have a bunch of Hoyas. I have them, they're not my favorite plant, but they're fun, so I have quite a few kinds. I have some more pothos and other vining plants I'm trying to train to vine up there. Over here, I have a bunch more of the harder to find, I guess you say, um, Hoyas, 
the new Baltic blue and global green that just came out. Um, both these are growing well here. So this is actually like a, a ladder, like a, I think it's like a blanket ladder that Stacy got that she didn't like, so I stole it and molded it to the ceiling with the grow lights. And now I have a good amount of plants growing over here. So yeah, sweeping back the plant loft in all of its glory. It's messy right now because I'm doing projects. But I will, like I said, be selling my moss poles. I actually just got this in the mail today. This is a big old thing of uh, whipping cord. Um, I'm working on getting bulk supply of the plastic. And I have lots of uh, the PVC pipes to work with. So I will be posting when these are available soon. As well as some of my cuttings when they're rooted and good to go. All right, everybody. Happy coffee and plant time. And look for more videos in the future. Bye.